मिक्सचर एंड कंपाउंड एंड कंपाउंड इन द लास्ट टू टॉपिक्स ऑफ चैप्टर वन वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड नंबर वन मैटर कंसिस्ट ऑफ पार्टिकल्स एंड दोज पार्टिकल्स आर ऑलवेज इन ए स्टेट ऑफ मोशन एंड इन सेकेंड टॉपिक वी हैव डिस्कस्ड ऑलरेडी द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ एटम वॉट काइंड ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ एटम इज नाउ इन दिस थर्ड टॉपिक ऑफ चैप्टर वन वी विल डिस्कस दैट केमिकली वी नो फिजिकली द मैटर कंसिस्ट ऑफ थ्री स्टेट्स विच आर सॉलिड लिक्विड एंड गैसेज जिसके बारे में हम पहले से बात कर चुके हैं इस टॉपिक में हमने बात करनी है कि अब केमिकली मैटर कितनी टाइप्स में जो है वो एग्जिस्ट करता है सो केमिकली मैटर जो है थ्री टाइप्स में एग्जिस्ट करता है एलिमेंट मिक्सचर एंड कंपाउंड केमिकली हाउ दे आर डिफरेंट केमिकली किस तरह मुख्तलिफ है एलिमेंट मिक्सचर और कंपाउंड से सो फर्स्ट वी विल टेक अप दिलीमेंट एलिमेंट इट इज अ टाइप ऑफ मैटर इट इज अ टाइप ऑफ मैटर विच कंसिस्ट ऑफ सेम kind of atoms to agar ek matter aisa hai jiske andar sare atoms same hai same se kya murad all the atoms they have same proton number सेम का मतलब यह है कि अगर सारे एटम उस मैटर के अंदर सारे एटम्स हैव सेम प्रोटॉन नंबर तो हम कहेंगे कि वो सब्सटेंस या वो मैटर जो है दैट इज द एलिमेंट एंड द मैटर इज कॉल्ड एज इज कॉल्ड एज मिक्सचर इफ इट कंटेन्स टू और मोर different kind of atoms or even sometime molecules which have combined physically Which have combined physically. So, if the atoms in a substance, if the atoms are of same kind, that matter would be element. And if it contains two or more than two different kinds of atoms or molecules, but the condition is they must be combined physically. not chemically then that will be called as mixture now come to the compound okay, what is a compound it is also a type of matter which consists of two or different atoms which have or which are combined chemically combined chemically so the difference the difference 
between mixture and compound is of only the combination here the two are different kind of atoms combined chemically here they are combined physically so <coughs> these are three different kind of matter which differ on the basis of the type of atoms they have if they have similar kind of atom they would be called as element if they have different kind of atoms or molecule but combined physically they would be called as mixture and if they have different two or more different kind of atoms combined chemically then they would be called as compound now first we would discuss the element in detail then we will take up the mixture and compounds so first we will take up the element in detail so as i have already told you that element is a kind of matter which consists of same kind of atoms so what do we mean by same kind of atoms how can we tell that these atoms are of same type so it means if they have same proton number same proton number so they would be termed as same that mean of one kind of atoms number two thing these elements naturally there are 92 elements discovered so far rest are artificially made or man made these elements these naturally occurring and man made elements they are arranged scientifically scientifically in a table called as periodic table called as periodic table so we have a separate chapter on periodic table jahan pe hum us periodic table ki aur uske andar jo elements present hain unki detail jo hai wahan pe separately padhenge agar physical states dekhe to elements are divided into two types mainly metals so types of elements are two types of elements metals and non metals most atoms most elements in the periodic table are metals most elements are metals and few some are non metals physically these elements exist in three states most of them are solids them are solids some are liquids rather not some few are liquids some are gases solids ki example if i talk about the solid elements present in the periodic table to so they are uh, iron copper gold silver etc the examples of uh, liquid are two there are only two examples bromine and mercury these two elements exist in only uh, liquid state the examples of gases are hydrogen 
ऑक्सीजन नाइट्रोजन एक्सेट्रा सो दीज आर दी एग्जाम्पल ऑफ डिफरेंट एलिमेंट्स विच एग्जिस्ट इन डिफरेंट स्टेट मोस्ट ऑफ देम आर सॉलिड फ्यू आर लिक्विड एंड सम ऑफ देम आर गैसेस सो दिस इज अ ब्रीफ डिटेल अबाउट द एलिमेंट्स वी विल डिस्कस दी डिटेल ऑफ दीज एलिमेंट्स वेन वी कम अक्रॉस विद द चैप्टर कॉल्ड एज प्रियोडिक टेबल नाउ वी विल डिस्कस नेक्स्ट the mixture and compound rather we will compare them what are the differences between the met mixture and a compound mixture compound there are few differences between these two kind of matter number 1 these consist of two or more different kind of atoms or molecules combine physically now this is a separate discussion what do we mean by physical combination and chemical combination i would like to tell you something about them these consist of two or more different kind of atoms combine chemically together chemically together number 2 the composition of a mixture composition of a mixture is not constant that mean it can be varied is not constant while the composition of compound is always fixed composition is always fixed is always fixed constant or fixed the components of the mixture always retain their properties but in mixture i'm uh, sorry in compound the components lose their individual properties their individual properties thoda sa main iske bare mein aur iske bare mein explain bhi kar dun composition of a mixture is not constant it means if you have a salt solution salt mixture if you add a salt to water you have added 10 grams of salt to 100 cm cube of water they will make a salt mixture the composition of the mixture will be 10 grams of solute or salt dissolved in 100 cm cube of water that would be a salt solution salt mixture but if in another case if we dissolve 20 grams of salt in 100 cm cube of water this would also make a salt mixture but with a different composition so a salt mixture can be made with any composition you can take any composition of a salt you can take any composition of a water but this is not the case in compound for example 
take the example of a water. So, 2 grams of hydrogen always combine with 16 grams of oxygen to give you 18 grams of water. This is not possible if you even take 4 grams of hydrogen and react it with 16 gram of oxygen that would once again make 18 gram of water. You cannot get 20 grams of water if you have taken hydrogen 4 grams instead of 2 grams. So it means the composition by mass of water which is a compound is a constant. So this means the composition of the compound if you take any compound like water, salt that is constant. Now I would give you some detail about these K components always retain their properties. Take the example of a salt mixture. If you add salt to water they would make salt mixture. Water would keep its properties it would remain as a water. Salt would keep its taste it would always be a salt. Us their properties do not change. Unki properties bilkul bhi tabdeel nahi hoti. But if we take the example of a compound like if we react carbon with oxygen to make carbon dioxide. So carbon has a property to burn. It can burn. Oxygen always helps in burning. So they have different, their own individual properties like carbon burns, oxygen helps in burning. But when they when they combine together to make a compound, so their properties altogether change. That means if they make carbon dioxide, which is a compound, it has the ability to extinguish fire. It means in compounds, the chemical, the properties of the component, component they completely change. They do not retain their properties. But in, in case of mixture, they keep their properties. Now the fourth point is, Now the fourth difference between mixture and compound is the consequence of the thing that the components lose their properties when they make a compound and they retain their properties when they make a mixture. So it is, uh, ultimately tells us that when we make a mixture, so no new thing is formed. Koi nahi cheez iske natije mein nahi banti. Sare component jo hai, they keep their properties. While in compound, you always get some new thing is formed. It means compound jab banta hai, to uska matlab ye hai, ki ab we have got such a thing, which is physically as well as chemically totally different from their components. Number fifth difference. The components in a mixture can easily be separated, be separated. While in compound they cannot be. Components cannot be easily separated easily separated even we can see the different components separate in a mixture in mixture the things can be seen separately while in compound they cannot be 
they cannot be seen separately because they have made some new thing. Now, if we talk about some examples, so some examples of mixture are number one, as I've told you, salt mixture or a salt solution. That is an example of a mixture. Sugar solution, if you add sugar to the water. Alloys, alloys are a very good example. This is a mixture of metals. This is a very good example of a mixture. Then we have a glass is also a very good example of mixture. We will talk about the examples of compounds. So, so many examples can be given like water, like salt. Salt itself is a compound but when we dissolve it in water so it makes mixture. Then sugar itself is a compound. Glucose, all these are examples of Another important example of a mixture is air. Air is a mixture of different gases like nitrogen, oxygen and something like that. So, in this chapter we have been able to clearly distinguish now the difference between the element, mixture and a compound.